In today's video, I'm going to share with you a really cool technique which allows you to build consistent looking pages across your whole website easily. So let me just show you briefly what I'm talking about. So this here is the theme builder. So this design that I've just created here is going to be applied pretty much across the whole website. And these are the two pages that I've just created quickly, just to show you how this template design here can be applied to this. Now you can see I have my rounded corners. I've also added a uh, gray background here. I've also stylized my text. And if you look at the services page here, everything looks very consistent. Our images have rounded corners. Our paragraph text is the same. Our title here is the same. And also if I scroll down here, you notice that we have our blurbs. So I show you how to add this in the Gutenberg editor. So before we get started, I'd also like to remind you that if you wanna learn how to design professional looking websites, I have a course which has a special offer. The offer is if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, which is in the video description below, you get access to my web design formula course, the course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is to buy Divi using my link and then just head over to funnels to income.com. On the bottom right, you can see a chat bubble. Just send me your receipt number and I'll give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and I'll show you how to create consistent looking websites using the theme builder in Divi. Let's get started. All right, so before we get started creating our template, what we need to do is to create the pages first. It just makes things easier. So I've gone ahead and created the home about us and then page one and page two. So next I'm gonna come over here to Divi, click on theme builder. So what we're going to do now is to create a template design for all our pages on our website. So I'm gonna start off here with our global body. So I'm gonna come over here and click on build global body. So I'm gonna build this from scratch. So I'm gonna click on start building. And then I'm just gonna close this for now. Come all the way down here to the bottom. And then I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. So what we're gonna do is we're going to give our pages a specific color for the background. So I'm gonna come over here to background. And then I'm just gonna choose a really light gray. Come all the way up here. Okay, there we go. So I think I'm happy with that very light gray. I'm going to save now. Now it's time to add in our contents for our body area of our website. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, add a single column. And in this column, we're going to add our post content. Okay, so here it is, I'm gonna select it. And now I can go in and customize this post content by clicking here on this gear icon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to go into my headings and change my uh, font. So here I'm gonna add pop-ins as my font, but of course you can use any font you want for this design. So I'm gonna make this bold. And I'm also going to increase the size to say about 48. And then over here, I'm gonna to come to heading number two, change this to pop-ins, make it bold. And maybe this could be about 36. And then I'm gonna to come to heading three, change my font. Now notice that I'm using the same uh, font here for consistency purposes. And again, I'm also going to make this semi bold and the size may be 26. All right, great. So now that I have all my headings all set, I'm gonna come over here to my paragraph text. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing, assign the font to this, and this is going to be Poppins. And I'm going to increase the size to about 17 or maybe even 18 and add my line height. So I'm just gonna nudge this a few times until I am happy with how things are looking on the page. Okay, so I'm gonna go with 1.8. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and uh, stylized our paragraph text and our heading text, it's now time to save this. Now, in fact, before I save, I'd also like to say, if you want to uh, do a bit of styling to uh, our images here, you can go in and maybe perhaps give this some rounded corners if you want to. So let's do that by just setting this to about uh, six all around. So just a soft edge and then save. So now that we have our design for our page, all the pages now that we're going to create on our website are going to have pretty much this style. 
So let's go ahead and test this. So I'm gonna save this here, then close out of this. I'm gonna save one more time. So all we've done here is to just work on the global body. All right, so now let's go to a new page or just a page on our website and see what this is gonna look like. So uh, I'm gonna open this in a new tab and uh, just create a brand new page altogether. So uh, again, this page can be named anything that we want. So I'm gonna come over here and give it a name. So let's call this page services, okay? so. Instead of using the Divi Builder, because right now we've just created the template, we don't need to use the Divi Builder in this case. We just need to use the default Gutenberg editor. So I'm gonna come over here and say, use default editor. So now I can paste the contents of this page by just pasting it like that. Now you may be thinking, well, I've lost the ability to work on my um, pages using the page builder. Well, that's not the case because if at any point you want to add any elements that uses Divi, you can use the Divi block. So let's look for our Divi layout here and here it is. So now I can say build new layout you Can come over here. This is going to take us into the editor briefly. Okay, just briefly. So we can add all the elements that we need to add in here. And I really like how to design it this way because everything is just being controlled by our Gutenberg editor. And if we need anything Divi wise, we can always add it as a Divi block. All right, so let's build this from scratch. And what we're going to do here is to add, say, three columns, equal columns. And we are going to add blurbs in here, okay? So there we go. So here's my blurb. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go in and stylize this like crazy. I just wanna keep things very simple here. I'm gonna come to my icon, activate my uh, icon here, okay? So the icon I'm going to use uh, is a pretty much an icon from here. So uh, let's choose this one here for the first one. And then I'm just gonna quickly stylize this by coming over here to image and icon. And uh, the very first thing I need to do is to reduce the size because that looks way too big. So let's bring this down to about say 38 and let's give this a color. So pretty much I'm happy with that. Uh, I may also want to uh, center my text here. So I'm gonna come over here to text and just center everything. And then just make my uh, text here bold by coming over here and setting this to bold. Okay, so pretty much I'm happy with that. I'm gonna save and then just duplicate this a few times and uh, fill up those spaces or those columns. So there we go. And then one more time, I'm gonna drag this into position. Okay, great. So now that I've added all this, all I have to do now is to save and close out of here. Now notice what happens when I close out of here. This is amazing. So my blurbs now are going to be entered here in the Gutenberg editor. And this is really, really cool. Okay, so now that I've added my blurbs, you can see here, everything is looking great. The next step now is to add a heading onto my page. And to do that, I'm just gonna come over here and uh, just click on, um, in fact, you know what? I can just add this by coming over here to the top and just choosing my heading like that. And I'm just gonna paste my heading in here and just drag it to the top. So pretty much these are the contents of my page. So now I can save this page and exit out of this. So once I exit out of this, we're going to see if our page template is going to uh, pretty much reflect what we created earlier on. So now I'm gonna publish the page, hit publish one more time, and now I'm going to view the page. So as you can see here, we have this light gray background. I also have my title here, looking great and we have our paragraph text. So let's say you want to add more elements to this. I can always come over here and uh, add my elements. So let's say I need to add an image to this. I can just search for my image module here and select it. And I can go to my media library and add my image from here. And this is going to have those rounded corners. Remember we added rounded corners in our template. So let's say I'm gonna choose this image right here. I can choose select. And right now the rounded corners won't show, but if I hit update, this now is going to take all my settings from my template that I created earlier on. All right, so now if I come over here to my page and refresh it, so now you can see that our image has these little rounded corners that we added in the page template. So now moving forward, as we're creating our pages here, they are going to have pretty much this basic layout. Let's do this one more time. So I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard and go into a another page or even create a brand new page altogether. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new. So let's call this page case study. I'm gonna click use default editor. Remember, you don't use 
the Divi Builder on the, in this case because we've already created our template in the Theme Builder. All right, so here we can start adding our content. So I'm gonna come over here to Lorem 2. I'm just gonna grab a bit of text here for my uh, title for the page. And then back over here, I'm just gonna add my text here as a heading. There we go. Next, I'm gonna add some paragraph text. So again, I'm gonna come over here to Lorem 2 and just grab a bunch of text, paste it in place. Now, let's say you want to make further changes to this page in terms of layout. All you have to do is to uh, use this uh, builder to come up with your layout. So if I click here on this plus button, you notice that we also have layout elements in here. So if you want to uh, separate stuff or you want to add some columns, you can always do them in here. So let's say you want to add two columns that are equally the same. We can add our image here in this one. So let's look for our image module. I can use my image here from the library. So let's go with this one here. I'm gonna hit select and then I'm gonna add Another one here from my media library. And this time I'm going to use, uh, let's say this one here, hit select. So now both of my images are now added. So pretty much this is going to be my layout here. I'm gonna publish this page and then we're going to take a look if our page is going to look consistent as the one that we've just created uh, before, which is the services page. So here I'm gonna click on view page. And now you can see we have our beautiful heading here, which of course is taken the styling from our theme builder. And here our images have rounded corners and it also has this background color. So as you can see here, this global body here is really, really powerful. If I come onto this global body and uh, add even more elements to this, this will be reflected on all the pages that we're going to create on our website. So as you can see, this is a much, much better way of creating our websites, especially if you wanna build your websites really, really fast. Now you can further customize this by adding even more Divi elements here. So let's say you want to add an opt-in form on this page, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to add maybe a banner, which is talking about a sale on your website, you can also go in ahead and do this. And the beauty is once you add that banner on this page, it gets applied to all the pages on your website. And if you remove it, the updates also are across the whole website. So pretty much this is how you design a website really fast using the theme builder, making all your pages really consistent. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.